Hello, how are you doing? We're in lockdown again, aren't we? So here I am making a video for you lovely, lovely friends of mine so that you can give mum and dad a bit of a break. Koala Lu. Shall we read it? First, we have to put on our reading glasses, don't we? Zoop. Zoop. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and whoop, close up my book. Koala Lu. What country do koalas live? My country, Australia. There she is. She's got some sneakers on. There once was a baby koala, so soft and round that all that saw her loved her. Her name was Koala Lu. Isn't she cute? The emu loved her. The platypus loved her. And even tough little koala claws next door loved her. All the animals loved her. Beautiful butterfly. But it was her mother who loved her most of all. A hundred times a day, she would laugh and shake her head and say, oh, Koala Lu, I do love you. That's Koala Lu's mama. And there's Koala Lu on her back. Whenever she stretched early in the morning sun, or climbed down a gum tree or bravely went down the track all by herself, her mother would, her mother would smile and say, Koala Lu, I do love you. The years passed and other koalas were born brothers and sisters for Koala Lu. Soon her mother was so busy, she didn't have time to tell Koala Lu that she loved her. Although, of course she did. Look, here are all the brothers and the sisters of Koala Lu. And there's Koala Lu feeling a bit left out. Every night she curled up under the stars. Koala Lu thought about times when her mother had looked at her and said, Koala Lu, I do love you. And she longed for her to say it again. One night, Koala Lu had a splendid idea. Preparations had begun for the Bush Olympics. She would enter the Olympics. She would compete in the gum tree climbing event and she would win. And her mother would fling her arms around her and say, Koala Lu, I do love you. There she is, having her idea. And it's nighttime in the bush. Koala Lu began her training right away. She jogged and puffed and lifted weights and panted. She hung from a branch with one claw at a time till she ached. She did push-ups till her stomachs hurt 
And last of all, she climbed the tallest tree that she could find over and over and over again. There she is doing all her training, hanging, doing some lunges and downward facing dog. We do that, right, in class? Lifting some weights. Oof, she's really tired now. And these are the preparations for the Bush Olympics, a competition of all sorts of different sports. Sometimes her mother would watch her and ask, how are you going, Blossom? Fine, just fine, Koala Lu would reply. There's Koala Lu right up at the top of the tree, training. And there's her mum busy with the brothers and sisters. At last, the day of the Bush Olympics had arrived. Look at that, all the animals have turned up to watch, to be spectators. They've all got fancy and smart hats on, don't they? And look, there's the Olympic torch. Koala Claus had also entered the gum tree climbing and everyone knew how fast she was. But Koala Lu wasn't scared. She saw her mother in the crowd and imagined her saying again, Koala Lu, I do love you. And her heart filled up with hope. There's her mum waiting in the crowd. This is Koala Lu. And koala claws, a stiff competition. It was koala claws that went first. Her climb was a record breaking 22 meters in 70 seconds flat. The spectators whistled and cheered and wildly waved their holiday hats. Can I do better than that? Thought Koala Lu. I must. As she stepped towards the tree, a hush fell over the crowd. On your mark, said the koala, kookaburra. Get set, go! There's Koala Lu. Koala Lu leapt up onto the tree up and up and up she climbed, higher and higher and higher, faster and faster and faster until there she was, right, right at the very top. The spectators roared and clapped and stamped their feet. But she wasn't fast enough. In spite of all her training and all her hoping, it was Koala Claus who won the gum tree climbing. Koala Lu came second. Koala Lu went off and hid. She heard the shouts of the Bush Olympics and she cried her little heart out. Oh, she's so sad she didn't win. She came second. There's her medal. When the first stars of evening appeared in the sky, Koala Lu crept home through the dark and up into the gum tree. Her mother was waiting for her. Before she could say a word, her mother flung her arms around her neck and said, Koala Lu, I do love you. I always have. And I always will. And she hugged her for a very, very long time. The end. 
That's a nice story, isn't it? About huggies and cuddles with mama or papa. Maybe you could get up now and go give them a huggy. I'll see you guys next time.